Yeah, man. No, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That was a good one, though. It suits you. Your voice is deep as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not really, but I just went loud, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I had to do it. Um, what's happening, everyone? <laughs> what's happening, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Tea with Timsy, and I'm so proud to say I've got my brother along, Philly. Yes, Philly, my, my guy. How you doing, so man? good to see you, man. You too, man. I'm proud of you, fam. Thank you. Bro. Trust me, big brand deal. Don't let that go over your head. Come you know, on. you see the shirts. Yes, we're looking clean. We are looking clean. So yeah, I got to say, basically, this this show is sponsored by Percival Menswear, the absolute G's at Percival Menswear. They're making us look dapper. And you the know, trousers. Down to the trousers, though, bro. And the, come on, trousers feel so good. You know, you know they've got um, Gareth Southgate. Oh, is it? Yeah. They're dressing Gareth Southgate. They're the putting way. Gareth Southgate in drip. Yeah. For the okay. Euros. He yeah. can he can dress anywhere a little bit. I yeah, remember yeah. seeing him once. He's but right. you're looking you're looking clean. Thank you, brother. Well, yeah. it's not me. Um, they've just uh, given me the clothes. I'm just yeah. wearing them. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. Are we are we allowed to say that you are dressing Gareth Southgate? Uh, oh, of yeah. Gareth Southgate may or may not be wearing personal menswear during the game. There you go. <laughs> 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 okay. He definitely is. He definitely is. They want the plug. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair. They want the plug. Um, so, yeah, a massive thank you to, to personal menswear. We're actually at their shop in Soho. Um, they got their pop up stop because of their pop up shop, sorry, because of their uh, collab with Champion. Okay. Event team. But, um, yeah, so a big thank you to them. But, main thing for me is that I'm joined by someone I look up to, uh, someone who, no. who is a very inspirational figure and just. One of the biggest names in the UK. I just wow, call you chill out, Philly, chill bro. out. Bro. I can't even hold him, man. All right, how you doing, That's brother? That's a good intro, sorry. That's Come a good on. Intro. I'm good, brother. Yeah? Uh, all glory to God, I'm blessed. I woke up alive, well, yeah, I can man. see, hear, sleep, taste, all of the good stuff, bro. Yeah. I'm just grateful for life, honestly, man. Yeah. yeah. I get that feeling as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a lot of people say that, but like, I feel with you, genuinely, you actually mean it. Yeah, no, do you know what it is? It's, it's man's mum, man. Yeah. It's my mum, like my mum's, we come from like a, a very religious background. I wouldn't say I'm very, very religious, but you know, like just growing up, there's certain morals installed in you. And like my mum's like was always reminding me, especially when she saw me like start growing followers and money, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? She yeah. was always like constantly giving me advice. And so I'd say mum, mum's yeah. the reason like man's so grounded, that's it. That's super proud, isn't it? Yeah, she mum's a mad proud mum, yeah. you know. It's sick. What? Like, I, I love that though. Like there's certain times here where I walk the, like the street, and I love taking pictures, but yeah. I'm a human, bro. Yeah. So like, let's just say, I don't know if I'm upset or I'm stressed. I remember my, my RIP my mom, nan and granddad died not too long ago. And I was just declining bare pics. But my mom loves it. You see, like if someone asks me for a pic, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> like my mom loves it, like she loves it. Um, and it makes me love it. So like, I don't know, there's, there's certain days where I'm like down or whatever and then just seeing my mum's face and how gash she but is But that's about. sick though, I think that's such a pure thing. Yeah. Like there's no, you can't, you can't really explain that as well. Just yeah. because it's, yeah, it's like an indescribable like bond and just love, innit? Yeah, it's yeah, sick. yeah. Right, so it is tea with Timsy, so I've got my tea. Philly's gone with the, the water Wars. in a, in a mug. Wars. But there's no rules, because yeah, no it's my show. I can do what I want. Word. Firstly, Philly, how have you been? Um, you been good? Busy, bro. Apart from the holiday. Do you want the honest truth? Yeah. Or course. like the media trained answer so no, we can get no, more this, jobs. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> I want the honest truth. Um, Whatever you feel comfortable with, innit? I've been better. Really? Yeah. Like, one thing I'd say with this, with, with, with our job, is that everyone 24 7 assumes that you're okay. I was literally going to ask this, like later on in the episode, yeah. I wanted to ask yeah, about the, you, the perception of you yeah. and wh whether it's right or not, like wh how the public perceives you and stuff. Yeah, like yeah every, how every, everyone always thinks, like because all they see is Instagram mm. or they see YouTube. And yeah. it's, when the cameras are on, the cameras are on. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And so you're full of energy and you, you're, you're loud and you're just, you know, it's like magnetism. Yeah. And it's always positive. It's mm. never like you just being moody. Yeah, no, so no, no, everyone definitely. thinks that's how you are. Yeah. 100%, all the yeah. time. And, and it's not an act. It's definitely me, mm. but when I first ever done a video, I just gave them that version of me. Like, you are a different way when you're angry or a different way when you're happy. 100%. We all have so many different personalities within ourselves. But I don't know, like, just an example, just to, just to make that point clearer. I don't know, someone could see me on the road and they'll be like, say yeah, man. And I'm like, it's tired, bro. Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And they'll be like, oh, you're so yeah. different. And I'm like, how? Like, what? Because yeah. I didn't say, yeah, man. Like, yeah. So what? I have to be on vaults for you to appreciate me. Yeah. So yeah, that, that, that was annoying, like, coming up. But then you end up getting used to that. But yeah, man, just generally just like, 
The one thing with me, Timsy, I always thought I wasn't lost. I always thought like, with all the fame and the money that I have, I haven't lost myself. Yeah, because yeah, 100%. I still look after Mumsy. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't go to clubs and spend thousands of pounds on tables. It's not my flex, do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. give money back into like the house. I just bought my sister a crib. Like, yes. I'm really spending bro. my money properly, yeah. bro. So, but it's, I guess it's more it's the fact that you can afford certain luxuries. Yeah, but it's not before, but it's still you're taking care of what you need to take care of. You know? Yeah, you don't but, lose sight of that. But even though I'm doing all these great things, when my nan and granddad died, it hit me hard, yeah, because they were sending me money. Sorry, they were sending them money the other way around. Yeah. I, I wish they were sending. Me <laughs> I was sending them money from like when I started making it. So like I'd say five years ago. So like from five years onwards. But within that five years, I never spoke to my granddad. Deep this though, I'm sending the money, bro, but I'm not even calling to say I love you. Do you know You're how mad that it, is? Yeah. So it, I only realized how bad it was when my nan died. My nan died first, and I was just like to my mom, I feel mad guilty. Yeah. Because I've been sending bare money. I know she's not well, but I ain't even called to say I love you. Like, oh, now I've got bare voice which, notes. Which would maybe mean that I'm just, to them, then. Yeah, that I'm airing from my nan. But it's not that I don't want to chat to nan. It's just that she just talks my ear off yeah. and I've only got five minutes right now. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. I just learned, bro, balance. Life is about balance. Like I've 100%. spent five years chasing a bag. Yes, it is sick because it has put me in positions and took me to places that I could have never done with before. Do you get what I'm saying? But that's family, fam. I know. That's a, life is about balance, bro. Like, so now with my manager, I'm trying to work out, all right, cool. Is it we make X, Y, Z amount and then I go on holiday for like two weeks? And do you get what I'm saying? Or yeah, is it we yeah. do 30 jobs on, on the trot, then man take a bro, but we can't spend our whole lives grinding, chasing grinding, money, grinding, right? Do you know how course. mad that is? Yeah, but do you think, because I've, I've, I think I've been a little bit like this where I feel like to get to a, to, to a certain level, obviously you need to work really hard. And I was like, for so long, when I was a copper, for example, like I put work first mm. for, for years wouldn't go on holiday or yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go on holiday on the back of knowing I can because I'm somewhere with cop or whatever but like work first and I'll just grind 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 the whole time mm. do you feel like you have to do that though to get to a certain point the fact that you have done that now you're at a certain level you can afford that luxury of like you know what because there's this back catalogue of everything that you've done that everyone knows you for but then again oh, do you know what you're right I get the point you're trying to make and yes have I not maybe put in that work I, I might not be where I am today yeah but still it's about balance bro yeah no I, I agree I agree R.I.P. R.I.P. Cadet but I remember when Cadet passed it hit me hard because it again it was another lesson about balance that yeah. I learned from when I knew Cads all he ever wanted was a crib bro but Cads didn't live in, I think, in his apartment for more than a month until he died. Really? So again, it's balance, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. why are we working? So, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying don't work hard towards your goals, yeah. but just balance, bro, yeah, I yeah. think, man. Is that what you've learned the most? Like? Yeah, but uh, no, I'm still learning it because I don't know how to balance. Yeah, I'm Again, same, I don't know whether to base it on money or days or hours. Like, I don't know how to. I, I'm the same, because I was, I was, we were saying just off camera, like, b before, I was saying, like, I've, the last six weeks, I've been so tired. I've been like so busy and it's sick and obviously like yeah the, the money's like decent and stuff but I'm just tired bro but then it, it's also what's what's like what's overtaking the, 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 the fatigue and the tiredness is like I'm still chasing I don't even know what I'm chasing exactly but I'm just yeah, like yeah. I like feeling like I'm progressing more than I, I feel tired you know what I mean feeling oh. like okay the next one I'm done okay now I've done this job sick okay now the next one do yeah. that campaign do do so it's just like, I'm more obsessed with that than like resting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know that, that that's a short fuse and it's like that eventually, I'm not gonna have the energy to it and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna burn out. Yeah, 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 no, facts. But it's, it's hard, man. It is, man. Um, again, that word balance, if anyone in the, out there can comment down below. Yeah. How you recommend things should be balanced and I'd love to hear it, man. Yeah. Because that's, that's one thing I'm still learning now. Yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. actually start, you know, like where we met. Do you remember? Because I actually don't remember. That's a dream me. I don't know. I think it was through, because I met, I met Chunks, right? And at that point, you you and Chunks was stuck, like... Yes, we met, it's got to be Chunks. Chunks spoke nothing. I don't know what conversations you had with that boy. Bro, he speaks so well of you, you know? Uh, like, but obviously this was before we was friends. Yeah, Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? But before we was friends, Oh Michael, like your name was just always really? used to get mentioned, bro. Yeah, man, he speaks bro. very, very well of you, seriously. Yeah. And Sharky, yeah, 
Um, so yeah, yeah I just knew you as Chance's friend, but yeah. I don't know at what point we met. You know what it was? I think it was like probably through, not sort of socials, <laughs> but like in passing. I have a, like yeah, yeah, an yeah. event or something like that, yeah, yeah. and then it was like, okay, yeah, on, on different yeah, shoots and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've actually been on a shoot together though. We haven't shot together. This is, I think this is the first time we've shot together. Yeah, I, don't, I think so, yeah. And it's you bringing, me bringing you onto my own show. Oh, bro. You know what I mean? Levels. <laughs> Not on some next, you get what I'm saying, some next channel. I'm joking, I'm joking. Then just keeping all the views. Views Look. are staying here. Yeah, Art. exactly. I'm trying, man. Yes. I'm trying. No, I'm proud of you. No, bro. but you know, you bang views online, though. Hey. Put Philly's name online. Bro. Oh, I'm banging views, you, you know. You and Chunks, it's weird. I ain't even got a TikTok. Type my name in TikTok, all these videos have millions of views and likes. But you know what it is though? Mad. I think it's because you you have, we were talking about this earlier as well, before, just before, um, of that balance of doing your own stuff compared to doing stuff oh, for other people yeah, like, yeah, yeah. on YouTube and whatever. Because like, you know, everyone knows who you are and you have, yeah, you're on TikTok and mad views on YouTube because it's like all these meme and viral moments from Foot Asylum yeah, Pro and Direct, Direct, Direct yeah, and everything yeah. like that. I don't know, what, what do you prefer? What do you like doing? Your own stuff or? or Stuff out of a brand. Wow, great question. Amazing question. There's well, let me smile there. No, there's seriously, an answer though. Because me and Chunks talk about this all the time. Let me tell you the pros and cons to filming on your own and the pros and cons to filming with someone else. The pros to filming on your own, whatever you say runs. There's not, oh, retake, yeah. let's do a second intro. <laughs> oh, let's set up the mic and put it in the middle of your chest. No, oh, yeah. no joke. When me and Chunks film, bro, we slap the camera, sometimes it's on a box, on top of DVD cases, yeah. press records, and boom, there's your two mil views. Yeah, but People complicate stuff, fam. Yeah, but I feel like you can do that. I can't do that. Yeah, you know I, mean? I reckon you could. Same no. way with Timsy and Poet, bro. Everyone just wants good content. Don't get me wrong, we can appreciate how nice this looks, yeah. but I don't care. Yeah. I'm not gonna look at this and go, oh, that neon light's good. It's do you get what I'm saying? But two people, if it though. is there still, I'm still gonna go run. Nice lad. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, okay. everyone just wants good conversation. They want laughter. Like everyone just wants to be into. I don't know. That's what I get. But, but I just feel like it's maybe not that because, as I said before, you you reach such a level that yeah. for you it can be that simple now. Whereas for me, Ooh, like I that's what I feel like I have to put an extra effort to to do this show because I can't if I film also. I don't want to just like put a camera there and just start filming and just start chatting mm. like in my bedroom or whatever like, and nothing against people who do do that because they mm. do it so well and like those YouTubers and, and Sidemen and everyone like that it's like I think it's massively underrated what they do people don't realise the amount of work they've had to put in right but I feel like you can do that because you've put in all the effort before you know what I mean mm. but anyway we'll go back to on your channel versus other brands yeah. so the pros for your channel you think it so for your own stuff it's because you can yeah you create a freedom it's, it's literally down to you you don't need to say i don't know for example a foot asylum shoot i remember once i just wanted to do the intro in a weird weird voice i went ba -da -ba -ba -ba, it's your boy i'm philly and i'm today joined with like you know like a weird <laughs> yeah. but he did like it i was like what are you not nuts like they're yeah, gonna yeah, die yeah, at that like fresh you got what i'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah, yeah. stop taking it so serious and they made me do a normal one yeah man it's your boy young. i was just like oh, i yeah. just dry bro yeah so like that's that's um the pros of filming on your own channel but also the cons of filming on another channel like point of direction you're not in full creative control do you get what i'm saying like yeah but then i guess you have to sort of be willing to give that up once you're yeah because the money right yeah but then there's the other side of it yes they're paying you a fee but that just got two million views, and I know what I've got paid off two mil views before for video. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and I didn't yeah, yeah. make a penny off it, especially stuck people out with um, Foot Asylum. Their channel's not monetized. Is uh, it not? No, nah, because think about it, bro. If it's at the start of the video, a JD advert comes up and they're Foot Asylum, it don't, do you get what I'm saying? Oh, wow, yeah. So then they'd rather not advertise that. any other like companies. Shit. So yeah. Okay, so, so on the whole though, do you have one that you prefer, or you just, you'd like doing a bit of both? Because I know you don't... You, nah, man, you the experience is at Pro Direct are nuts. I'm Foot Asylum as well, man. I was going to say, man. Because that's those like training team. grounds and that, meeting mad football legends and... Man. That's mad. Even branded content in general, man. Yesterday, I was, I was, it was, I think it was meant to be... Oh, I might not even say that on camera. <laughs> you might feel offended. But anyway, I, I linked up <laughs> with an old legend footballer yeah. yesterday for Adidas. And just, again, that was sick. That's not something... I probably could maybe do it for my own channel. Yeah. But maybe not as easy, do you but know what I mean? Exactly, you know what, it's because what I've learned as well, and like, I, I went down, when I was a cop, I was very much down like the branded route, because yeah. I was very brand safe and brand friendly, so yeah. I got those opportunities and stuff. It was like, the brands and like, those sort of outlets are the gatekeepers, really. Like, mm. they're, they're the ones who have all the access. That's what the money is, bro. Yeah. 
basically. Black and white. But which, which is money. amazing. So then, obviously, if you play the game a bit, the mm. fact that you get to do these things, like, does it still... Do you get overawed or do you, does that still get to you, the fact that, oh, I can meet whoever? I can, oh, bro, can I'm whatever. so glad you asked me this. Because, like, I saw the, the Aguero one you did with Pro Direct, like, playing, to meet and also, even then, okay, you're playing FIFA on the big screen at the Etihad, which is cool, but it's not as cool as meeting Aguero. Yeah. But f f forget Aguero, bro. I can't believe I lived this life. I swear to you, really I come though? from nothing, fam. Of course, but I feel like you're no, you're just the way fam. you are. I you have swear, to. I'm, I swear on my mother's life, Timsy. I'm, I can't believe the life I live. Really? I swear. Like my my mum yesterday was at my house and was like sorting out my bills here, yeah? and I'm I'm like, mum, look to the right, and she's gone what? I've gone, you're not deep in the view. I live here, bro. Your son, like, bro, it was deep, fam. Yeah, but I've lived yeah, in my crib yeah, for yeah. four months, but I swear, Timsy, I can't believe I live there, fam. And my mum's going, my mum's response was like, nah. I'm like, what, are you used to it? <laughs> no, like, so, but I get it though, I get it. I think my mum's used to it now, like she's- Of course. Cause it's not- And you still aren't? Nah, fam. I swear to you, it's like but sometimes, like every now and again, every now and again, I'll say a comment that like, was leaving the, the house, me and my boy was going for dinner the other day. I was like, you think it's mad? We're gonna go to dinner at some bougie restaurant, come yeah, back like, and match your like, and just, Nah, bro, I swear to you, I can't believe... Look, I'm smiling, this is genuine. Yeah, bro. I, I know, but, it, I no, but that's why, even then, I feel you've done so much, right? You've, yeah. you've, you've reached such a level, and obviously you're still, you still want to progress and everything, but like, you've done so much, so the fact that it hasn't you know, worn off on you and you haven't got sort of tired of it, it's like, it's amazing. Yeah. I feel, and I wish I was maybe a bit more like that, because like, even when it comes to, like, same as you, right? We meet footballers for a little... Most of what you do, most yeah. of what I do, right? Yeah. Meeting footballers, chatting to them. Like... I swear it's hard for it not to wear off. Mm. The novelty of it all, you know what I mean? Like, mm. I, bro, I love it so much. And I, I, I appreciate it and I'm so thankful for, yeah, the life I live as well. Like, yeah. that I get to do this in my job, but blessed. But half of it is like, it's my job now, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm defo there as well. I defo know it's just norms, there. but bro, it's, I'll get moments. It's like, it's, it's moments, it's, it's, it's even seconds, milliseconds where I'll just go raw, like I'm gone and then carry on with life. Like, like I, when I you're swear. shooting or like with a person? No, like or... the other day, like I said, I was with my mum, I was smoking a vape, bro. My mum's working, we're not even talking to each other. But I've just gone, oh, bro, my view's not. <laughs> I need to see this view, bro. <laughs> you need to come to my crib, Tims. Really? I can't believe I live there, Tims. Yeah. I swear to you. Really? I promise you, bro. So it's just little moments. That's amazing, so like, though. When me and Chunks was at soccer, aid, bro, the night before we cried, bro. No, of course, but see we that. Cried. No, but that I would say is different. We're in the room, like holding each other's hands, like this, Tim's. You go, oh my, bro, I'm so proud of us. Like, bro, are you mad, bro? But soccer, I, but, but no, no. So that that I understand. Mad. But I also feel like, do you not feel like you belong where you are at at the moment? I, I know, like, so for example, like, if you don't know, and I only know a little bit from what you've said, right? Is that obviously you come yeah, from like an immigrant background, basically. Yeah, 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 and. To, to now lead in the life you live, obviously it's fully deserved because you put in the work and, and you are how you are and it was just, for me, you're destined to do this anyway, right? Oh, man, okay. But then, is it not, you feel like you, you belong here do, and you, you're, you're almost, you should be doing what you're doing. Because I, f I feel like that though. Oh, you ask deep questions, Timsy. Like, you're making me Cause, cause stuff I've, out about me. Because half of, half of me, right, when I'm growing up, when I was a kid, if my dad told me, oh, in 10 years' time, you'd be working with the BBC and you would have interviewed whoever, working at the England camp and stuff, right? All right, round of applause. No, Tim's no, but no, I'm not saying... I'm not Please. Saying, <laughs> I'm That's not saying amazing. that, like, uh, pat my back. I'm just saying, like, just a few things that I've done, right? Mm. I'll be like, nah. But now I'm thinking, nah, it's sort of... I can... It's norms. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like I do belong. I do and I don't. Okay, I'd say I'm more used to the jobs, not the lifestyle. Oh, okay, that okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Yeah. Like that I can't believe this, bro. Like, went Portugal and got a yacht. Gucci <laughs> 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 Do you know how sick that was? Yeah. I had eight foreign bad bees, my boy. Like it was nuts, <laughs> Timzy. Like these are the stuff I, I like. I see in films, bro. Yeah. How do I have the boat? Music, and I, music video. I have the shirt like this on as well. It was all open. Yeah, yeah. It was sick, man. So yeah, do you know what? I feel like you made me even evaluate my answer a bit more. I'd say definitely I am used to like the work side of things. Yeah, that, that's it's, what I was getting It's at, more yeah. the lifestyle. It's more like the things that I can do now. And 
and do it with my friends and do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so yeah, I'd say the lifestyle. Yeah. That's a good is it, point. Is there like a, is there a shoot or is there something you've done? With, when was the last time you feel like you were not out of your depth, but like, whoa, this is a big moment for me? In terms of work? Yeah, soccer aid. But then I- I've often, never felt nervous like that. Really? For a shoot. In my, it wasn't even It wasn't a even shoot. a shoot, exactly, bro. <laughs> because you're not, it's not even like you have to interview this person yeah. or whatever. It's just you have I to be there so and be nervous. yourself. Really? Yeah, man. You pulled out though, bro. Yeah, I was yeah, so yeah. proud. <laughs> I was so proud of you, man. <laughs> watching you, watching you and Chunks, I was like, you're you're actually playing in soccer, <laughs> and you're the biggest names there. It was <laughs> amazing, crazy, bro. It makes me happy, bro. It does make me happy, man. You were proper nervous. Yeah, yeah, man. I was proper nervous. It was a a huge moment. Like from 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 a young age, all I ever wanted to do was play football. Yeah. And um, it's mad, even because because I stopped playing football. With, was nuts like it affected even relationships that my, the relationship I had with my dad it was like football was all man knew everyone was trying to push man towards it yeah and then I stopped I got went to Colombia I got offered like a two-year scholarship and then after a year and six months I come back I was like I'm done with ball because I no put, way. yeah I put things into perspective and I was like if I was Messi and I won the Euros the Champions League not Euros World Cup yeah. Champions League La Liga, Copa Super America. Copa, every cup you can win in a year and make say 600 million. You can't go on holiday for six months. Do you know how mad that is? Yeah, but bro. But bro, nothing, bro. I work so hard to work less. Like, I want to go and That's live in a, in a villa in Taiwan for six months and then go to one in Brazil for two. Like, I want to see the world, bro. Yeah. I don't want to see that at 36. I want to do it while I'm young and handsome, fam. You get That's it? That's true. Like, so, That's true. Yeah, I deeped, man. Ball ain't for me. This is like it's dead. That's interesting. That's what? a such a you know that's such an because usually and I think myself I'm like I would love to be a footballer or at least live that life a little. Even bit. rappers live a better life than footballers, bro. Like let's actually deep it. A yeah, rapper bro, does yeah. whatever he wants yeah, and then I'll every music. day. Yeah, a footballer's got to go training. That is true. But then uh, and I ain't got a choice because they're contracted. No, that is horrible. You're telling me I have to go because I'm yeah, bro. Think, think of the not. yeah, but also. The, we know like quite a lot of footballers. You know loads of footballers, right? right? You speak to them like they they love it. They love not it, all right? of them though. I'm surely you spoke to some that don't. Some we're yeah. not going to name names. Some, no, yeah, cool. of course. But yeah, some. I've definitely spoke to some that don't, and it's just for the bag. And I'm like, you could be making a bag somewhere else though. That. Yeah, but yeah, I guess so. Well, a percentage of them must love it to some extent. Then. Yeah, of course. To, to to also the fact that you can't stay at that level unless you're outrageously talented. You can't stay at that level. Unless you put in work, yeah, and you're only going to put in work if you actually care about it. A little okay, bit, first, first, but no, but I agree though. Like, then there are some footballers that I've spoken to who, yeah, maybe they're just maybe they're falling out of love with yeah, the game. Yeah, that's what I mean, from when you're a kid, you know that innocent love of football mm. that just goes because it does become a job. Yeah, yeah in the same way that like I would love to chat to footballers even if it wasn't my job, mm. or I'd love to present stuff or host stuff if it wasn't my job. But it is my job, so now I'm like, yeah, okay. Did you ever try kickball? Like to a, like a proper level, did you ever say I want to make it? Like nah. So you, I, what when you was a like a kid? What did you? Yeah, want to no, be? I was, no, I played Sunday league. But you don't I want played to be Sunday a league. Yeah, no, I got. Well, I would love to. I would love. Would I would have loved I feel to. Like that was everybody's dream. Yeah, I know, in it. But I, it was more like because you know I was so small that uh, I was never invited to like any of the like technically I was good, but I was just too small because you know like academy life. But it was like ten yeah, years ago, fifteen yeah, years ago. You it's had like, to be a ring. You've got to be big. You've got to be quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. there just like I haven't even dropped my balls. Haven't dropped. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to run past this massive winger, I'm like, oh, what am I doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. What's been your like when you said like you love to travel the world, you you like traveling the world and stuff? I, I'm the same as well. Like, what has been your your best like trip or place that you visited? Through work. Yeah. Watch. Even I'm dropping gems today. Thailand. Interesting fact. Yeah. Thailand. No, but even better. We're gonna get to that. I only just got a British passport. What? I remember, I'm Colombian, bro. I've only you had a Colombian passport this whole time? The whole time. So I only just got a British Lit. passport. So Lit. it doesn't mean I was illegal. It just means that man's got a... If we wanted to go Napa back in the days and I yeah. had the British thing, it means you lot got to tell me three months in advance. I've got to wait for the visa to be accepted. Bro, I missed out... Me and Chunk's done the math, so I missed out on over a hundred bags for overseas bookings. What? Mad, what, didn't uh, What, in the last year? Nah, so it when just, we first just... started... Oh, when did Chunk's go away to do that? When Chunk's done the, I don't know, it was a period, last year or uh, two years. I think I missed out on like over a hundred grand, bro. 
and not taking overseas flights. And that's why a lot the, the year wow. after, or the little bit of time after, I was like, no, I need to get the passport. And then COVID hit. So I'm <laughs> not <laughs> You're sitting at home with the passport, just like. It's so this is, be, this is gonna be nice. I was like, what? I didn't yeah, realize. chunks was lapping up. I was about blood. to say because like all of the shoots that you, obviously you and you and. Yeah, that's why, for all the supporters that are thinking, why ain't Philly going? Why is Philly doing the swimming stuff and Chucks is getting riding yeah. around the world? Because you I was getting booked too, bro, but they don't have the passport. Wow, so now though. Oh yeah, now we're gone, now we're the, gone, now we're the gone. The bag can be there. <laughs> the bag can be there. Wow. But yeah, but aside from that, I have gone to some because some companies did give me um, time in advance so I could get the visa cleared and that. It was um, Germany. It was definitely Germany. Oh, nice. Yeah, man. What shoot was that? Surprisingly, it was some um, for a company called Insight TV or Spark TV or something like that. Um, and it was like ten guys competing to win like ten thousand pound and be signed to this esports company. Oh, sick. Playing FIFA. Oh, so you're hosting? Yeah, I was hosting. It was fun. Yeah. Um, but it was only good because I flew my boy out, and obviously my manager's like he's my friend before my manager. Yeah, so it was, yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. sick. It was sick. Oh, sick. Yeah. Nice. It was nice. How about you? You've done a, f a, f a fair uh, few. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know. My favorite, probably my favorite trip was uh, South Africa, Johannesburg. That for like a shoot because I shot a documentary there. Johannesburg. Day. That was lit. Yeah. Because I also went to the I went to the Soweto, so like the townships, so like the proper like slums of Johannesburg. And it's it's beautiful. Is it? The yeah? people are the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And bear in mind, these people don't have shoes. Wow. And you turn up and like making this documentary about <coughs> their football that only happens there really, mm. or in South Africa. So like being there for like four or five days, getting to explore a little bit and just like, Africa anyway is just somewhere I've wanted to, to visit anyway. And the, like, yeah, Johannesburg for sure was like one. But then as a whole trip, I'd say Russia, living in Russia for five weeks was nuts. For the World Cup, nutty. Oh, okay, no, different. Nutty. Is it, yeah? Yeah, and I didn't even, even in, at that point at Copper, it wasn't and even Russia's like, not like a lit place though. I've never heard the man them go, yeah, we're going to Russia 2020, like, we're yeah, rolling. Yeah, bro, it's like, lit. It's not, it's not a bro, thing, is it? It's lit though. Yeah? You would love it. Serious, yeah? You know what, just from a purely fun perspective. <laughs> oh, shit, no, poet, poet, don't even mention the name poet to me, poet. Is a madman. Yeah, he's a yeah, man. poet. Yeah, poet is a madman. Speaking of poet, I do love poet. You know, poet was the first person I ever met in indus in the industry that taught me about ownership. Yeah, that that for me is. is was he the first person for you? Yeah. Uh, and he, this was this was before I even done Foot Asylum and Pro Direct. I was still on just the really? wall of comedy, and all oh, he was yeah. saying to me was make your own channel, upload on your own channel. All you're gonna do is build subscribers, bro. Look how many subscribers Wall of Comedy are. Look how many. Uh, Foot asylum, or you just touched a million pro direct, and it's oh, it's mad, mad. But it's mad that he's he for, for me anyway, like him because he was massively instrumental in like me growing up in my career, right? Yeah, same he was the one put same me put me forward on camera with Vooj and stuff, and I didn't realize really because I obviously he's older and he's super experienced because he's been about for so long, but he said that from the beginning, he was like, just do your own stuff, like the creative control and whatever, and and it was always like. When it came to Copper, there was always that that push and pull because it was like Copper wanted to do this and Poet had other ideas and I was sort of in the middle or whatever. And I would always look at him and be like, no, but if he's really this obsessive about it, something has to be right about it. It's not just like, he's not doing it for no reason. And now it makes so much sense. Like now that I've been freelance for, well, since October 2019, like it makes so much sense. But it's hard, mate. But he did, was adamant. Did you find it scary doing the, like, the leap? I call it the leap of faith from going to knowing that your pocket is, is going to have, your your bank's going to see a certain number every month to uh, not know whether that's even going to come in? I, a little bit. You know what, it, not as much as I thought it would be. Maybe maybe afterwards, maybe like the last year, yeah, but it's the, actually making that transition, because I was ready to leave. Oh, first. Because by the time I'd been at Copper, I'd been like five years. I felt like I'd reached the ceiling anyway, I'd done so much. And then I knew I knew so many people, and like I was being asked to do loads of stuff. By the time it came to like me leaving anyway, mm. so I was maybe a little bit nervous. But then when I made that decision, it was more relief, and I was like, okay, sick. And I felt quite empowered. Mm. And then after like a week, when I got all these emails in, I was like, okay, cool, okay, I can do this. Because mm. there was always that little doubt, and it's like, can I actually do this? I know mm. I've been doing this, but because I've had the safety net of like being a copper and full time job, like I don't know whether I'm actually any good. Mm. 
But then after that, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do this. Sick. So it was good. It was it was a little bit of a leap of faith, but like, yeah. I, I trusted yeah. in myself though. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. But I still, I'm not very. It's not like I don't think I'm just, I'm sick. But you are, like, bro. You, no, you no, but think, no. You should think you're sick though. I don't know. No, I I know I'm not bad, but as in like I'm just more like. It, He's humble. I was no, but I was I was. I, I was self-assured. I knew I was like no, like I'm making the right decision, and, and, and I felt empowered by that. But like. With you, I've always, I've looked at you, right? I just think straight away is like self-confidence through the roof. You just know you're good. And that's never, have you ever had any like self-doubt? Well, I feel like that with you. Nah, but it's all a I'm being be, be, be honest, bro, though. But that's, yeah. the, that's the, the image I get. You get me? Good looking yeah. brother, you comb over to the side, dressed well. Like why, like, why not, bro? You come across very confident too. No, of course, no. And I, I'm not, I don't lack confidence, mm. but it's more just like, I just got. I just focus on work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I, right. I don't need to think too much about like, am I good or not or whatever. But yeah, yeah. you know, even though those thoughts are sometimes come in and out, or whatever. But now it's like we've done it enough that yeah. I, I sort of know now I'm okay. Yeah, but yeah. for you, like, have you ever had any sort of like self doubt or any like? No. I love that though. No. Because I remember what you said on the Potent Vuj one, where you just said you just knew you were gonna blow. Yeah, I knew it. Which is, I think that's rare though. I knew. That's rare. Bro, I watch myself and die. I think that is, <laughs> that's rare in itself. That's true. Like, I think I'm hilarious. Yeah. See, I, yeah, I, yeah, that's, that is like, rare. If you that watch my stories closely, you, say I was, you see I'll say something and then at the end laugh because I, yeah. I found what I said funny. Like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Like, if you watch my stuff, yesterday I was talking about getting my license because I ain't got a license. I'm a joker. Mm. I ain't got a license. I'm just pr uh, like going to take a beer and all that. Ain't you not? No, I'm never. Bro, never. mad. But I've never tried, in all fairness. I'm 29. I've, I've never driven. Ever. <laughs> I've done, I didn't, you know what, you know what, four years ago. Oh, that's so funny. Bro, no, that's four. Have you tried to take the theory though? I passed the theory, didn't start taking lessons. <laughs> I just wasted two years, bro. I did it. Two years oh. I waited, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll eventually start learning. That's jokes. Just didn't learn. Oh, that's jokes. Theoretically, I can drive. Alright, how do you find... I'll give you my heart in a sec, but I'd just love to hear your perspective. How do you find being in a public eye? Do you, do you value your privacy? Does it annoy you? Obviously, I know ours is on a different scale, but yeah. Just I wanted to, to ask you that, that as you, well. You? I, 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 don't, I feel like I'm so lucky, genuinely, because like, I know, I know I'm in the public eye, but just nowhere near, like you, you chunks it, but like, that's just different level than like my friend Josh, like Denz, everyone like, that's different level with public. I know like I have, but I, I, I like my nice little, I'm making little bubbles and waves and I'm happy with that. But then like, they're gonna keep growing, like, you yeah, do another I, 10 of these. Yeah, but I feel like. And you become like the most viewed podcast in England, bro. You're. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or don't but you consider I, but, these but, things? Nah. I, just do I, don't, it, I don't. I don't. And I don't. I don't. Yeah, want to think too far ahead or like fence, fence. worry about that. Even in a positive way, I don't like plan my career. The next five years, I need to do this or whatever. So I'm just like, as long as I'm enjoying it, as long as I feel like I'm growing and whatever, that's all that matters. But then, like, when it comes to privacy, I've never felt like I lack privacy. Yeah. But th there are, you know, a few times when it's like, no, nah, I just feel like I'm so lucky. Oh, I never nice, get any man. negative comments, really. Good. I never, because I feel like as long as my intentions are pure, you can't criticize me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not in an arrogant way, but just like, why would you criticize me? Because I don't, I'm not doing anything harmful. Oh, that's a good way to look at it. You know what I mean? That's a very but, um, good no, way but, to look but, at it. But then, that's good. when it's, you know, 50,000 people compared mm. to over a million people, that's yeah. different. Yeah. Because I wanted to ask you that as well. It's like, do you, do you feel like you're walking a tightrope almost? In, because you're so in the public eye, do you feel that pressure at all or you, you, you don't mind it? Um. Is it hard? I say, I say I'm learning to adapt to it and I've been doing this for five years and I say I'm still adapting because... Really? Like Chunks will tell you, I used to hate like... Like people coming up to me and aren't like black like groups. Like the bro is so uncomfortable, you know, and I'm from the ends, like I'm raised a certain way. Yeah, yeah. And it's so bad, but it's the way I am. I know if a if, if a guy looks at me and he's around my age but he's screwing, I might think he's gonna go try to take my watch, but little does he know, he's just looking at me just to see if it yeah, actually is, that, is, is young Philly. But yeah. these things just do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's hard. And then there's, there's been situations, I remember I was at dinner once with my mum. No, it wasn't with my mum. 
can't even matter. I was with my ex walking down Oxford Street and then I remember one girl ran up to me and jumped on me and then like wrapped her whole legs around me, innit? So obviously, so the girl doesn't fall, where am I gonna hold her from, bro? The bunda. Right, so man's holding this random girl's ass. She's crying, giving me kisses on my cheek, going, Philly, Philly, I love your videos. So then I'm looking at my girl. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, I was just about to say my ex's name. If you see this though, you know that day was banter. That day was jokes, innit? I'm holding this girl's bum, looking at my girl like, that babes. I'm s- this is nuts. what can I do? But she was cool with it. She was mad cool with it still. Really? Yeah, she was mad, mad cool with it. She was yeah. like, I understand that. Like, Later than that, she tried to stick But yeah, then the situations like that, brother, and I'm just like, this, this is, this is not cool, man. Yeah. Like people don't. Do you, do you feel it? Like, do you consider? Feel, it's uncomfortable. Do you find it uncomfortable? Yeah, but people just don't consider other people's emotions sometimes, and like, not everyone though, not everyone. Of course, yeah. Like, if ten I people bet, stop me for a picture, it would be like good. one yeah, out yeah, of yeah. the ten. Like, not everyone's yeah. like that. But recently, I've been loving it. Really? Yeah, I don't know what's got into me, what, you know. Just like now, it's just like you feel the love. Yeah, where was I yesterday? Where was I yesterday? What was I doing yesterday? I was shooting for Adidas yesterday, yeah? And I was at the Adidas store, and normally, like, when I'm about to film and there's bare people, I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna film after, and I'm, I'm all telling the camera crew to, I'm like, no, come back, like, I don't know, really, I've just been proper loving it. If it is good, what, you missed it or something? I don't know what it is, bro, but. You know what it is? No, what do you ge- reckon it is? Genuinely, no joke, it's, it's the holiday. I think it'd be the holiday. The fact that you gave yourself a break, you took a step back and you can relax and you can chill and then you bro, come back I'm to work. I'm it. Yeah, and genuinely, I think, it, and it's like, it, it, maybe it's I'm such stopping, a small thing. Like the fans will stop me and I'm doing extras, things they don't even want. I'm going, oh, what, you don't want a video for your brethren at school or something? Like, come, let me do my. <laughs> 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 and they're going, no, go away. <laughs> No, are you sure? I'll do a yeah, man. I'll do a yeah, man. <laughs> no way. I'm trying to give them content. I, yeah, but seriously, maybe wow. you are right. Maybe it was the holiday, bro. I, I think it is. Like, honestly, giving you because you get revitalized, really. Mm. Like, I, I, I feel the same as well. Like, and now, for the last, six, as I said, like for the last six weeks, I've been so fried and busy. I'd love a break. Oh wow. And then come I back and I'm like, no, you know what? Now I want to go even harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think, I think. <coughs> Obviously, that's a thing. That's why people take breaks. Yeah. You need to, and it? it's healthy, as you said before. Balance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, balance. Yeah. That word. I'm telling you. Yeah. If I ever get a tat, I said I'll never get a tat. But if I do, yeah, I'll be balanced, clean in it. Yeah. You got a, hey, when you got this clean, nice. Yeah, yeah. You, got, you can't ruin but it, bro. Balanced. If I ever do want to get a tat, that's what I'm getting tat. Yeah. Because I asked Chunks a similar thing, and he was like, "Bro, people are so ready to chop me down, to cut me down," and that's Chunks. And it's same thing with you. I think you're your energy and who you are so pure right it's like pure intentions in the same way chunks is like he's a saint bro mm. so how, matter, how can you no i know but i just think on their ends are hungry bro what yeah, but i just don't i you don't think they see care that, philly's a happy jolly guy they're sucking me if they have the chance to really? this ain't a joke timsy this is the real world see that so now Trust. i feel like that's why i am lucky as well because i don't feel like i have that yeah. i don't know if that just cut, does that come at a certain level or is it because of where you come from or yeah i'll tell you the it's a sort of content both. you make right? chunks grew up in like one of the roughest areas in, in london West, right obviously i didn't grow up in a rough area but that where i went to school was you get me i went to school in lucian borough so it was just techie so i feel like those little things just make you a certain way, man. Yeah, but I also, do you not think it's also because of the type of content you make and the, the way you are on camera? That well, it I almost- need, I think you got robbed the other day. No Can way. Let me say the story on camera, man. There's a live exclusive for two Wow. Hey. So I went to go meet a friend now, yeah? <laughs> and I'm doing a little thing to camera to my friend, but then I've seen now a car pull up. This is real life story, you know. I swear to God. That's mad. Like two months ago. I've then seen a car pull up, but oh, I've got this. Like, right, this is the road, Timsy, yeah? Look, okay. this is the road, yeah? Yeah. Road. And this is the little line that separates the middle of the road, yeah? <laughs> I know, it's weird. It's weird. You can so, tell we haven't done our theory. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is the middle line road, Timsy. <laughs> So, um, one car was parked, taken up the like both sides of the of, of the road. So like, yeah. you know what I mean? He's in yeah, the middle, yeah, yeah. he's in the middle of the light, in the middle lane, whatever you call it. And then another car is just a bit in front. Car long story short, naturally, if you're gonna turn into that, 
anyone will drive slow mm. because there's a hazard, bro. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, a yeah. car in the middle of the road. Yeah. This car has a done that. It's skirted in, it's gone. Wow. And then I've now looked at the front of the car and it's got no number plate. In the ends, we call that a dinger. Yeah? A dinger is just a car that you do dirty little moves okay. in and you can dash it after because it's not so yours. Like a burner. It's, it's right. Okay. We call it a dinger. Look. Okay. Dinger. So I I knew in the but at this point I'm doing a piece to camera. But I've knew in the back of my head. You're filming? I swear to God, bro. But I've knew in the back of my head that I've just seen a dinger and it's gone past. But they weren't coming for me. They was coming to rob houses, I think. Uh. Because they drove all the way like to the bottom and you get me, was like looking into the house. This is a real story, but I'm not even capping. They're looking into the houses. So I'm not a bad man, Timsy, but I'm not a dickhead. Yeah. yeah I will yeah. hold mine yeah, until yeah. I see something or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And then you're like, but yeah, until yeah. then, if it's that, I'm holding mine. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm staying there, bro. I'm not going nowhere. What? What? You think I'm going because you've just pulled up? Yeah. So as they're driving out, guys pull down the window. Uh, Irish dude. Oh, I wish I could do an Irish accent, bruv. Irish dude pulled down the window. What has he said to me? Go, where are you boys from? Like, we're, like, we, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like the like gypsies, like snatched. the gypsies, like the gypsies. Yeah. Like, where are you boys from? I'm like, yeah, I'm just not from here. Just come to check my bread and do a little video quick, whatever. Yeah. Boom, cut long story short, it's got techie. Yeah, what watches, he's got watches, money. You get me? Bro, it got nuts. But I know in that situation, you've got, you can't, like I said, I'm not a bad man and everyone knows I'm not. I'm not a dickhead, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to stand up for yourself. Yeah. But then Donny done this one. He's gone to me, he's gone to his friend in the passage. This is a real story, by the way. I shouldn't even laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Oh my God. But I, was, I wasn't scared at any point. But this is what the guy done. The guy's gone to the guy in the passenger. He's gone, yeah. This guy, like, because I kept, at the time, holds came out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah, yeah. I'm telling the brother run hold in a car. I'm trying to divert the whole situation yeah, from yeah, you yeah, trying yeah, to rob yeah. the mandem. I'm telling man, I've got a new yeah, song that's just landed. Yeah, yeah. Like, run my song. You kept me. Listen to the song. Like, he didn't want to hear the song. Oh, my God. He's gone to the guy in the passenger. Take the knife out. I've gone, huh? Oh, fuck. What do you mean knife? This is when it all changed. Yeah, what? Straight. Like I said, I'm not a bad man, but I'm not a dickhead. I've all backed up from the car. I gave him a different energy. Bro, when the guys took out the knife, it weren't no little... It's a machete one. Blow. You see like the side, of, you see a car, yeah? A car seat is here, and then you've got the door here, but there's a gap. The brothers dipped in for it like that. Uh, I've never run so fast in my life, Timzy. That's insane. Oh my God. And that's when I said, I'm not going certain places again. If I am among certain people, certain times, it's, it's these man's para, bro. Now I understand why rappers are the way they are. Now I understand when you approach a rapper, they seem like they're so antisocial. Yeah, because No, bro. Yeah. Man is just got PTSD. The most yeah. of the rappers are from the ends. They've got like a quarter of a mil worth of jewelry. Like I get why they act, they act the way they are. That's but I only is. understood it when I got famous. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I always used to think like, I used to meet certain man or, or footballers and think, why are you not like that? Like, why are you not moving so... But I get no, you it, fully get it. You don't know who you can trust. It's I'm nuts. Really, I'm quite, quite like, I like that I'm not like that. Oh, bro, it's a lot. You, is that, is that, that was my fault, fault, though. Ah, okay. But nah, it I wasn't mean, my right. fault because I should be allowed to go anywhere at any time. Of course. But unfortunately, course. now we, I have to think a bit different. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I say it's my fault because yeah. I should know better to be out on the road at that time in a yeah. place that I mean, that's different, yeah. Because like, because I was saying as well, like, in terms of who you are and the sort of content you make, I, I, I thought I'm more kind of meant the online I'm perception of you and, 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 and that sort of like criticism and stuff. Because as I said before, I'm so lucky. Mm. And I don't get criticised. And I wouldn't see surely as like you and Chunks. You wouldn't get criticised. You, you the content you make is so know what funny, you mean, so yeah. pure. You know it's what pure, I mean? like we don't, yeah. I, God save me that day, all glory to God. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. So you've done so much, right? Yeah. What for you has been like the biggest, the biggest deal and like the, the, the biggest milestone for you in terms of work? I, I, I know I, you said so correct before. Yeah, it's not so correct because that's not even me, like that's not my it's work. It's not work, yeah. That's more a reward of, or like a signpost of where you're at. Do you know what I'd say my biggest was, yeah? Spilled some interesting gems today, yeah? So Chunks knew he was going to quit music from when we was about to release Hold. Really? However, what we did numbers wise with that song, bro, made me realize that we are so talented. 
Uh, no. Example number one, on the first day of Hold coming out, we got more sales than Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber. <laughs> I don't even need to say no more names. Wow. Bro, yeah. they're signed to major labels. Bro, they're the biggest We only spent in 500 pounds in promo. Why, how have we even charted? What was that 500 pounds on? Like some Instagram. <laughs> that, but do you get my point? Yeah. So I'd say that was my wow. biggest achievement. And that went over our heads. I was like, chunks, like we should get this. Cause it was only like a little a email you get, like all the labels and the distributors get it. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, we should frame that bro. Like, do you know how mad that is? Yeah, our names bro. are on top of Miley, do you know who they're signed to? Look, that says Virgin and Universal bro. Where, yeah. it all says Gazy Records. Do you know what I mean? Gazy's yeah. like our way of saying just like knackered, like yeah, shit yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we called our record label, Gazy Records. Like we're taking the piss out of the music industry. I love that. But we're beating everyone's numbers. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'd say that was my biggest achievement because no one would even realise, but we didn't promote that song as hard as we should have. But that's the thing. And it's done known, amazing. You're not known for music. music. Your name for, you're known for your personality yeah. or whatever. Like, I didn't realise it was that big a part of your or mm. a, a kind of source of pride. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, do you, even, do you think you even realise how big a name you are? No. Because I don't, I don't... No, I don't. I think it's normal not to. I think it's normal for a lot of people not to know. But it's not good that I don't know. Yeah, but I don't, I know, I think Because it, I, I, I make, I make mistakes that you shouldn't as a famous person. Okay. You, you get what I mean by yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. As in, as in maybe you're, yeah, you're not, because I was speaking to Hector about this as well, like, and, and, Bella, and Bella. He, yeah, Bella and yeah, um, Bejerin. And, and he said like, yeah, everyone, whether you like it or not, everyone is a role model. It's just you are role models to different people when it's like, realizing you have a certain platform and it took him a while to realize for, him, for me he is fully aware of his platform and how big he is and how fam famous and big a name right because he's like it took him a long time to realize he's that person and people look up to him but he learned you know through you know making mistakes i think that's obviously a normal way of learning that's what i learned through mistakes yeah i had to make mad mistakes yeah. to know yo man actually can't do this no more see i haven't got to that point yet no. I feel like I'm, that's what I'm, I'm so lucky. Because I'm not big. I'm not a big name. But then not loads of people get a show and get an amazing brand to... to yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, I know, but that's... Clothes, like, you was just the other day at the England camp, bro. Yeah. Like, I didn't get invited to the England camp. But I feel like this is a very closed off almost. Like, maybe I'm a, I don't know, but maybe I'm a big name within work and this work. But as oh, in, okay. I'm saying public. Okay, fair enough. But that's what I'm saying. Do you realise how big you are publicly? Obviously, you're a big name when it comes to when brands When I went to Portugal, work, yeah. Really? Everyone just stopping you and shit. In Portugal? Yeah. Man. And it weren't even tourists. I'm talking people from the country of Portugal. No way. Portuguese what? people. I remember even the... What, me and Chunks had well, a mad one. I remember once we was at... <laughs> hey, that was good. Yeah, I and I was quite good, you know. Yeah, I studied it for a little bit. I was very good. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't see my face. That accent was on, on point. I did it for two years. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can yeah, tell, bro. That accent yeah. was on point. But I remember me and Chuck see this, we went wireless like three, four years ago, I can't remember, three years ago. Um, and we met this kid from Saudi Arabia. And I was like, we love your videos. And I was like, whoa, that's mad. Nuts, isn't it? Saudi, that's mad. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I realised. But I, I think I, I've realised now, like I said, but yeah, Portugal definitely shocked me. I was thinking, how am I getting clocked out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even getting comments from like on the videos of stuff like, ah, oh, big love from Australia, big yeah, love yeah, from yeah, like, yeah. Malaysia, what you from? I don't there, believe those though. Really? Yeah. I love them, bro. I I'm looking at them like, them. sick. Because I get so excited, I'm like, no, this can't be real. No way. No, but that's, I think that's no healthy, way though. You I think that's good. Malaysia. No, but I think it's a healthy skeptic, is okay, what I okay. think. is like, the fact that you're, but that's what I feel like with your, I guess, with your level of success and, and the fact that it's like, no, it's like, I, I sort of, I, I have a suspicion I am that big and popular, but I don't want to believe it. Yeah. I think that's a good way to be. You I reckon? Yeah, I think it's healthy, yeah. Yeah. What's the biggest thing you've learned? Like from, from, you know, the last... Life? Yeah, or, or, or yeah, life and, and also from the last, like, I guess, 18 months. Oh my gosh, the biggest thing I've learned in life is that you can't expect from people. You can't expect from people? Yeah, and I, I, it's sad though, because I actually think you should be able to expect... As in rely on people? Yeah, maybe. just whatever, however you want to look at it, look at it, but you shouldn't just have expectations of people or for people. Yeah, and but your, I believe yeah. you should. No, but I, I, I agree though. Is having this debate. I agree. And Broski's probably going to look at this and, and probably still think he's right. But I don't know, man. Like, 
Chucks is one of my best friends. Me and my girl, which I don't have a girl, but if I if I get a missus and we have a baby and she has a baby shower, I expect Chunks to be at the baby shower. Yeah. I don't care what job you have, bro. I expect you to be there. Really? On my wedding day, I expect yeah. you yeah. to be there. Yeah. Okay, so that... Do you get what no, I'm but saying? I, how, but it's how normal, how though. It's normal. That's normal. I don't know. It's a normal way to be. Expect to be, but I get that... I, I guess, what, so a lesson you've learned is you shouldn't do that. Yeah, like, you shouldn't expect. Like, I don't know. Like, there's been... There's been times where I'm down or there's been times where I'm up or there's been times where I'm worried. There's been times that I'm, I'm thinking a lot and I expect my friends to act a certain way or even my mum or say certain things to me, but they don't. Yeah. So then what happens then? You get more hurt that the people you love ain't doing certain yeah. things. But it's because it's all in your head though. That's what it is though. No, That's what I think it's, it it's not even all in my head. It's because I would do that action to someone else. So I expect that back. Okay. It's oh, not, yeah, I'm no, not even that, saying okay. it's good. It's no, 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 bad no, no, no. Like this. What do you think on that? Do you think um, it's, it's good to no, look at or bad? You're nah, well, well, me, no, basically. No, but, but I, I always think like, so say, yeah, baby shower, right? You didn't turn up to a baby shower. It's like, ah, oh, it's a shame. I didn't expect you to, or I did expect you to, but, you know, I, I'll get over it. And also it's maybe, maybe that's because of the expectations I built up in my head. Okay. It's, it, it comes from me. You know yeah, I mean? okay. Even when it comes to like personal relationships or girls or whatever, the fact that like, why isn't she doing this or like, what? but it's like, this is all in my head, you know? And obviously, oh, okay, obviously, okay. and obviously like there is a level of like to and fro, right? Because obviously, you know, if a girl's doing something mad or just uh, ignoring you, whatever, then like, she, she is doing that. And that's not something you built up in your head, but it's more just like, there, there is also a level of, I guess, expectation or like the way you perceive things. I agree. It is ultimately, it's, it's coming from you in it. So it's like, you can control your emotions and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I've learned that a lot. Genuinely, it's interesting you say that because I've learned that a lot over the last like year. Mm. A lot. I've I've been so in my own head, and I've had to go through a lot of like ups and downs. To then now, I feel like I'm getting to a stage where I sort of know myself a bit better mm. and can control my emotions a bit better. Mm. But I feel like you have to go through that that stage. You know what I mean, just 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 to add on uh, now that we're on this vibe, like. Mm. I say, since I've been famous as well, yeah, I find it so hard to trust. We're in Soho, by the way. It's yeah, so if you're yeah, hearing that stuff in the back, just yeah. excuse us. It's calm. Um, but yeah, the one thing I found the hardest was um, trust in new people. Really? Yeah. Look, you are a very trusting person, right? I, I, I presume yeah, from and, that, right? That's and, and I'm the same as well. No, but that's, I'm a very trusting it's person. It's not good, though, right? But I think it is. It's such a shame if that's not a good thing. Yeah. I mean, See, I agree with. Oh, Timsy, we're no, meant to be in, mates. <laughs> <laughs> we're meant to be mates. But as in, like, what a horrible world we live in if if it's not a good thing. Yes. You're trusting. Yes. Because I'm not, I trust people a lot all the time. Because that there's no better way to be. But it means obviously you can be cut down. But I'm saying that's especially true for you because obviously you're in the limelight, you're this loud personality. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, for you, it's, it's especially That's true. mad scary, bro. It is, it's so scary. And I'm not even just talking gal, I'm talking everyone in general. Really? Like. What? Bro, like, there's some people that will just, oh, <laughs> I've had some mad situations, Tims. Really? To the point I'm just trying to quickly think in my head if it, if I could say that, like I've had some mad situations and not mandem as well. Mandem are worse than girls. Forget girls, mandem are the worst. Really? I just don't know if I can. <laughs> you can't nuts. do anyone I've out, been, Yeah, you? I've just been in some Obviously. mad situations, bro. And just professionally as well, like career. Professionally, personally, personally like just. Guys are weird, man. I found it hard making new guy friends. Really? Yeah. Like recently, all the friends I have made have been girls, like. And girls really? in the industry, okay, like women that understand how my job and I don't because know why, man. I've been getting, I, guess I like female friends, okay, a lot more than guy friends. I don't no, know, it's lit. Motives or, yeah, like I, yeah. Got, I got a new bestie at the moment, fam, and it's just been so lit and refreshing. Nice. Just meeting someone new that has the same views that I have, but just with a different twist on it because she yeah. is a female. And yeah, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's just. It's sick, man. And the same up. expectations of, of each other, I mm. guess. And well. even this, what we're doing now, I value this. I, I, I value like, I value, I value life conversation. conversations. I value conversations where I can learn, or even me just saying that. What 
the, the story about when I was getting robbed or something like, do you know what I mean? Like the guy mm. was trying to rob me. Like someone yeah. could learn off me saying that. It could be the smallest thing, but yeah. it's like learning, man. I yeah, like yeah, having yeah. like conversations that matter. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, bro, that's, what, that's why what I, mean? I started this show as well. Cause it's like, obviously I know people within the industry and it's like, I just, I love chatting to people about everything anyway. Yeah. But as in, especially when it comes to, you know, people I'm, I'm close with or work with, or whatever, like, I feel like, just finding out more about them like on camera as a show yeah. was something that I really wanted to do and that's like when obviously I was so thankful for Chunks like Chunks the fact that he was like anytime you want just I'm there I was like you're, you're Chunks man how can you do that yeah but you know before I mean? he was this big he loved you so but I know, it's I know, good that but he hasn't like, changed that just shows bro's getting changed of course that's what I'm saying like he's so like, special Humble, man. you're all special man. Yeah, man like this is what but I, I've asked this with Chunks and with with um Dens as well was obviously you get a lot of people asking like wanting to do what you do when it comes to especially when it comes to pro direct right and foot asylum yeah like what would you say what have you learned over the years like that you could pass down to other people of, like this is what's worked for me or this is what you should do I'll say be you because you end up getting found out oh my god that's so true best that's advice so true. I could give yeah. if you're if you're if you're doing an act if you're if you're trying to be me trying to be a personality on camera and you're not. Myth. Good luck, G. Really? You're gonna last two months. It's, it's true though. It's Serious. True. But that's it's so as hard as to keep up an act. Because that's, that's why it goes so well for I think me, Chunks, you, Poet, Vooge, Mike's, we're not acting. Us. It's yes. a part, obviously I'm not energetic right now, but when I come, yeah, Matt, quickly, I know how to take out that side of my personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that's, I'd say, yeah, just be, be you. 100%. I didn't even think about that. And that's so true as well, it's because also, that's why, you'll never not be comfortable on camera. They're, you might be more nervous or less nervous, but because it's not like, shit, now I need to get into film mode and I need to rehearse my lines, but it's like, mm. nah, this is just me. Do you know what? I was, I was the witch yesterday and she said that and I really valued what she said. I was like, don't you get nervous? Because I sometimes get nervous. She was like, no, I don't really get nervous, you know? Like, I'm just, I'm just me. I still get a little I was bit like, nervous. do you know what? You're right. You're I still right. get a bit nervous, bro. I, I was but nervous at soccer. To... Yeah, but that, as we said, that's different though. No, but I'm, I'm like saying TV work, stuff down now. Bro, if I'm working with England, now it's no, like, I've done it a few times. Teams. I can't believe you're working <laughs> with England, bro. Do you know how mad that is? Bro, it's, I, don't, but then I don't even think about it too much because I'm like... Have you cried for a job you've got? Have you cried through happiness? Oh, yeah. Through happiness, yeah, but not through, Respo not through, through a job. Not through a job, no. It could have been a moment in work, though. Looking back, maybe, or speaking... Ah, uh, you know what? Nah, you know what? Oh, my God. That tears of joy. Teary, Come yeah. on, I love that. I literally got that. Um, is it? Yeah, oh, bless you. Um, when my mate John texts me like three weeks ago, out of the blue, and he's like, bro, I'm so proud of you. And it's just like, oh, I, like, I literally feel it like this once now. It's like, cause I don't, I don't, I'm just like, I'm so focused on just work, right? And, and I'm so proud of everyone. It's like, I'm proud of you and Charles no, and, and John as well. It's like what everyone's doing. I'm so happy for everyone. As long as everyone else is happy, I'm happy. Mm. You know what I mean? So then when he, I didn't even expect it in you know, I was busy or I had a stressful day and he just texted me that. I just started crying. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's those little ones, it you really know. It really is though. It's, it's, yeah, just how you're feeling or whatever. And just some, sometimes it just happens at exactly the right time where it just yeah. triggers like, I could be know. here all day chatting to you and I, I know, swear, I know. brother. I know. Because I've got another question, but if I ask this question, it might lead into a next thing. And then I think, I think, because I don't think we have very long left to talk. Wait, what was the, what was the question though? The question is, yeah, because I felt like this the other day and I didn't know why. Have you ever been sad and you don't know why you're sad? Yes. Don't you think that is... It is fucked, bro. It is fucked. I was so down and I don't know, even know what I'm thinking about. I don't know what's making me... But I feel like at the time, I don't know why I'm sad. But eventually it, it becomes clear, I think. It's not no, just like... Well, mine was a week ago. Really? I still found out. Well, you were just fully sad. What? It was a sad day for me. I have felt sad randomly. I'm like, wow, why am I sad? Like, oh, I'm just not in the mood. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. don't feel like it. But then like, it could be so many reasons. But I think eventually you realize oh, I'm starving or hungry. Or oh whatever. yeah, <laughs> right. it could be anything, isn't it? All right, fair enough. Or like, oh, I haven't spoken to my mum. So a basically, while. what Timothy said, I was hungry when I felt sad. Say no more, man. Yeah. Um, so this is it, by the way. Uh, this has been, I think, quite a long episode. But I'm so thankful, Philly, my brother. I love you so much. I love bro. you too, my brother. Honestly, Appreciate thank you. you so and I'm much proud of you as well. No crap. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> On my own show, you know. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, so massive thank you to Philly, obviously, for coming on Tea with Timzy. Uh, I, honestly, I'm, I love this episode so much. And a massive thank you for, for Percival Menswear as well, for sponsoring the show, dressing us in these amazing things, and, and inviting us to the store Just keep well. on gifting us, though, yeah? Just, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. A monthly retainer, that'd be amazing. Right. Um, <laughs> retainer! <laughs> yeah, come on, brother. <laughs> Um, but yeah, massive thank you everyone. Thank you so much for the love for the last few episodes. It was from the beginning. Honestly, I appreciate it so much. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, leave a like. Uh, comment down below who should be on the next episode. And I will see you next Sunday, Philly. And turn on the little bell because it lets you know when a new video is up. Yeah, I, I forget to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Later. Love. Vroom. Oh, uh, that was a good effort, eh? Was a good effort. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, mate. No, no, it's all, it's all. So, what are you opening to? Yeah, it was sick, right?